Okay, so uh, I didn't see a whole lot of videos regarding uh, your camper shells on Tundras on, on YouTube, so I thought I'd just do a little quick one here showing this setup. Um, this is a 2016 Crew Max, and then this is the Lear 100 XR camper shell in Barcelona red. Um, ordered this from my uh, dealer here in Houston area. Took it exactly four weeks to the day from the time I ordered it until it was installed. It ran about, oh, it was about 27 or 2800 out the door on it. But uh, overall, I'm pleased with it so far. I think they did a pretty, pretty decent match on the paint. Uh, I mean, it's not perfect, but. Uh, it's about what uh, what I expected on it. You can see that the actual flake content is a little bit off on it, but once you step back, it looks good overall. They make all kinds of disclaimers and stuff, saying explaining how come the uh, the paints may be different. And I'm not a real picky person. As a matter of fact, I almost went with the. Uh, a flat black version if they offered it like a rhino liner type thing. And as you can see, I've done a little bit of stuff inside. I'm in the process of getting ready to add a, just a real simple platform bed to it. It's only a fix, five foot, six inch bed, but uh, the good thing is I'm only about five eight, so I should be able to curl up in here and get some sleep, I believe. But I got it with a carpeted bed liner. Um, it's a close up of the door latching mechanism. This is one thing that I look for on YouTube when uh, I was doing some research on these. Some people say these hinges are kind of small or chintzy, and I, I think they look pretty good. You know, that has a lifetime warranty to the original purchaser, so we'll see. Um, my dealer actually opted to do the uh, the clamp mechanism instead of clamping it into the tracks. They just used the four traditional C clamps. Then, of course, I ordered the uh, the bed red bed rug uh, extended mat off of Amazon. It was about two hundred and ten bucks on Amazon, and it covers the uh, the bottom of the bed, and then it has a tailgate cover. I like it because of this portion right here where you don't have to worry about anything falling into the tailgate. But uh, but that's it. Um, I know I've got 40-something subscribers out there. And it's been a while since I posted the video. So hopefully you guys will get all, um, get all excited about it. Maybe I'll have... 45 or 50 subscribers here in a, in a year or something like that. But I think I might go ahead. I'm, I'm just going to do a real simple bed setup, just a little platform setup um, on the left hand side over here is something that these blue crates can fit under. Maybe I'll do a video after that. It's just something really, really simple. I just want some place I can just drive to, do some dispersed camping, some off grid camping, just set something up and, uh, you know, just. Just get away, get away from it overnight or a couple of nights or something like that. I'm also going to set up a, a deep cycle, 12 volt deep cycle battery system here. And I've got a 100 watt solar panel that we used on an old camper that I might try to rig up a rack to go up on top with those racks. Those racks were about 500 something bucks to the price. That's one reason it jumped the price up, but. I needed it, had to have it because we have a kayak that we need to haul on occasion, so. But, that is it. So we'll get uh, get this bed built, and again, I might shoot a video here after a while, showing the results of it. Thanks, guys.